look back at one for some more Super Mario Odyssey, continuing on with our search of regional coins throughout this game. Last time we went to Luncheon Kingdom and we found all 100 coins there. But now we are here at Bowser's Castle and Bowser's Kingdom. Hey there, Kaharu. Were there a total of 100 regional coins to be found here? And we did manage to get all of them in our original playthrough, but I'm going to go ahead and skim through them just to show you guys where they're all at in case you guys are looking for them. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. But anyway, let's learn a little bit about Bowser's Kingdom, well-defended castle floating among glowing clouds. Bowser's Castle, the castle that walled off the sky. Population is middling, size is sprawling, locals are stir-faced ogres. Currency is oblong, industry is Hanafuda curds, and temperature on average is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Mallets big enough to climb on, terrifying gatekeepers. Don't run afoul of the stair-faced ogres that guard this kingdom. When they spot an intruder, they bring their huge mallets down, no questions asked. On the other hand, you have to admire their tenacity and work ethic. The scars on their faces show that they don't, don't give up easily. The whole thing. All along the walls, these holes were meant to allow defenders to shoot at invaders. But nowadays, you're more likely to find a demon or a snake coming out than an arrow. Architecture is lovely as the scenery. Beautiful tile work. This kingdom's architecture is unique. Roofs are made of heavy layered tiles that will not budge even if walked upon. They also create a uniformity in the overall design, enhancing the beauty of the palace. Though you can move along the roofs, this palace was quite high in the sky, and if you fall off, you will most definitely die. It's not the surest footing either, so be careful. Statues guard the court. Uh, the palace tower highlights the inner citadel, and the gate leads to, uh, leading to it is guarded by fearsome statues. The statues are fashioned after gods of wind and thunder, the perfect motif for a sky palace, and since they are modeled on Bowser, the ruler of his kingdom, they serve as a warning to foes here in abroad. Statues are not, they're certainly imposing. Impressive fortifications. Surrounding the inner citadel are the second and third courts. The second court is especially fortified with many cannons to repel invaders. Cannonballs often roll along the ground and many tourists fall trying to evade them. Legends speak of invaders repelling the cannonballs with spears, but no mere mortal could hope to do this, so try not to get too close. An oasis of calm. The elegant garden is a bomb for the brutality of this kingdom and will help you forget all the hardships you face to reach it. You can even buy souvenirs, so be sure you stop by. These statues, called Jizo, stand in a row. Three keys to the kingdom. 1. Dirt past the silent and lethal stir-faced ogres, which we actually can't, we actually need to defeat some of them in order to progress in this level. 2. Avoid being distracted by the ominous yet brightly glowing clouds. And 3. Survive the various traps designed to end your trip early. But without further ado, now I actually have a checklist here right in front of me of exactly all... Which... Why is this not open? We're gonna warp here, but we're gonna be going back to the main gate. I don't know why that's not... Oh, I know why, because the lever isn't open. So what we're gonna do, even though we're warping to the th third court rear, we are gonna be traveling back here. And you probably noticed the first four regional coins, which are the only regional coins found at the main gate. And now we have access to through the main gate. Now, that warp pipe, I believe, leads us to the main courtyard. Let me find out real quick. But yeah, those are the only four coins found at the main gate. No, it's actually beneath the keep, so we actually get to skip most of the kingdom here. Which is kind of what I don't want, because we're going to be doing this in order. Okay, we already got the four regional coins at the main gate, but now we're going to be traveling to the third courtyard front. I, I accidentally called it third courtyard rear, but it's third courtyard front. And there are four regional coins here, so we're going to go ahead. We are going to go ahead and capture a Pokio.
and the four regional coins are right there. But yeah, I want, even though I got all the regional coins in my playthrough, I want to show this anyway, just in case you guys don't want to search throughout the entire episode where the regional coins are, you can just go ahead and grab them. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to travel to the third court courtyard rear, there are eight to be found here. Yeah, I'm not messing about with you. Now the first four, I believe, are up here. Should be along here, which they are. Now the next four here are the other side, or should I say the other four? Because there are only eight here at this particular checkpoint. And you can see the other four are right below here. You need a Pokeo in order to get those, but... I'm not too worried about that, but we're on to the next. We are going to be going to the second courtyard. Now, this is where a bunch of them... Actually, there's more here at the second courtyard than any location here at Bowser's Castle. We're going to go ahead and try to get all those. So what we're going to do, right off the bat, drop down here. Okay, there are three. Three down, 20 to go. And then you wouldn't need a Pokio for these. You just go ahead. Oh! Okay. I managed to save myself there. Pretty cool. So we still need 17 more to be found here. So we are going to go ahead. We are going to cross this as usual. Now we're going to drop down here. And then there are three more there, which will give us 14. Here, which unfortunately you can't go through pipes as a, a captured creature. Okay, so we go along here. There are three more over there, four more over there, which I lost count. I think that's what. Because I got 17, 14. So after this, we need 10 more. And then there's four more over there, which needs to just six more that needs to be found. And then that one I already showed you. Let me 
go back over here. I don't think there are any more. I think those three are the only ones. Those four are the only ones in this particular area. And we got the four on top of there. You have to climb up there in order to get those. And we go up here. And then there's three up here. Let me let me look at my album real quick to find out which ones I'm missing here in the second courtyard. Oh, there's the three right at the very beginning. Oh, I'll, I'll show head will Can't believe I forgot those. But that's pretty much all that's left. Sorry about that, everyone. Those three right here at the beginning, before you even do... Even before you cross that and get those three over there. But with that, we are going to go ahead and warp to the souvenir shop. Now there's only three here. And then it happened to be on top of this house. Once you get those, you get the, you now get to travel to the main courtyard. Now there are 18 coins to be found here in the main courtyard. First three is on the other side of this roof right here. I don't think there are any over here. No. I didn't think there was. Now, before we go through the main courtyard, we have to go along the rooftops. And we get another three up here. Now we got those. Let me go ahead and collect these first. There should be six more along the rooftop if I remember correctly. We need to find 12 more here. Let me go. Okay, we're going to use our long jump here. And there are three over here. And I'm going to continue a little bit more. And there's three over here. So we only need to find six more regional coins here. Which, what we're gonna do is we're gonna long jump. And then the regional coins can be found in this pool right here. I wasn't paying attention. Now we go up here.
Now we climb ahead. Hey there, Dark Demo. And what we need to do is avoid the ogre. And now the final three coins here are just beyond there. But now we're going to be headed to the outer wall, which there are exactly ten coins to be found here in the outer wall, so... What we're going to do here is we're, we're not going to muck about. We are here in the outer wall. And the fourth, the first four are right here. I just barely made it. Oh! Okay, there's three right there. I'm not going to collect all of them because you guys are... Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to get them because I can just show you guys where they're at. Because I, I don't need to get them because I've already got them, but... I, I, my main goal here is to show you guys the location of them. Okay, we just gotta get seven more. We had exactly 6,800 coins. I didn't realize that. And then the last three are right over there on top, on that piece of balcony right there. But now that we're at the inner wall, there are only three here at the inner wall, which are right there. But I'm not going to go ahead and get them. Like I said, my main purpose is to show you guys where they're at. For reference. But now we are at the Beneath the Keep checkpoint. Okay, let's get rid of- well, actually, I really didn't need to get rid of the Pokio there, but first thing I'm going to do, there are 18 uh, regional coins to be found near the Beneath the Keep checkpoint. That's where we're at right now. You can see not only are there three regional coins right there, but there's three on top of the roof right there. We're gonna go ahead and warp back to the Beneath the Keep. So there's six right there. And then what we need to do now is to get and capture the Lakitu here. And then there's three more regional coins underneath here. Now we're gonna go ahead. There's actually six more to be found here, and then we need to drop down near the, I believe, the outer wall to find the last ones here. But there's three here. Actually, the last six are where I said that the last last three were. You'll see what I mean here when I get there. But we need to drop down. But anyway, there are three regional coins you can see hovering above the water right there. And then the last set of, new, of uh, regional coins here before we get to the castle itself.
But then we got all the regional coins here. Which we're gonna go ahead. We're back here. Now the final nine regional coins are beyond here. Six are at the castle itself and the, th the other three are at the showdown arena. So we're gonna go So there are three right here. And then the other three at the castle, you have to actually drop down onto Bowser's face right here real carefully. And you can see the other three right there on top of that lantern. But now we're going to be going to Showdown Arena. And then the final three regional coins we found are right here along this flag. But with that, we are done here. Don't need to spend any regional coins. I'm going to go ahead and take the shortcut back to the Odyssey. Which, before we do that, just to double check. Okay, those are the four at the main gate. There's four at the third courtyard front. Here's four and then eight at the uh, third courtyard rear. The ones at the beginning of the second courtyard. The ones where the spinies were at, along with the three that was at the over overhanging from the building. The three along the side and then the four past the shooters, plus the four on top of that building. And then the three we got there. The ones at the souvenir shop. Beneath the keep, the ones on t no, not beneath the keep, at the uh, main courtyard. The three along there, the three overlooking the main courtyard itself, the other three behind there. Three in the pond. The three overhanging right before the outer wall, and then the ten right there, the three right there. There's six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen by beneath the keep, and then... There we go. But with that, we are done here at Bowser's Castle. No, I dropped down there and I, I found coins using the vine, but I'm going to go ahead and take the warp pipe back to the Odyssey. And I'm going to change outfits. And I'm going to be wearing an outfit that I said that I would be wearing a couple episodes ago. I am going to be wearing the bridal outfit. Because we are going to be crashing... Well, we're not going to be crashing the wedding anymore, but we are going to be going where we crashed the wedding. At uh, Honey Loon Ridge at the Moon Kingdom, which is where we'll start things off in the next episode. But yeah, like I said uh, twice before, even though I found all the regional coins in my, my playthrough of this game, I wanted to show all the matches, because the main point of these regional coin episodes is, is to pretty much give you guys a guide of where they're located, just in case you guys are having trouble finding them, but uh, next time I see you guys, we are going to be here on the moon, we are going to be finding more regional coins here, hope you guys are looking forward to that, but thank you guys so much for watching this, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, I'll be seeing you guys again next time.